This morning in the kitchen, thanks to GoProvidence.com for bringing in Chef Paul Shire from Tavolo Wine Bar and Tuscan Grill. He's got a great recipe for us and combined some of my favorite ingredients, I must say. Welcome back. Well, thank you. Happy thank New you Year. Me. Happy New Year to you. All right, so what is the recipe that we're making today? Okay, so we're going to do a grilled salmon with endamame salad, black beans, mm. with avocado. There's actually two sauces, an avocado puree and a plebano pepper sauce. Sounds like a lot of healthy ingredients going Very into healthy. this. We like yeah. that, especially when we year. go into the New Year. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's on everyone's resolution list, that's for sure. So take us through all the ingredients of what we need, the two sauces and the, the salad. You got it. So the salmon, I just have a little marination on there, some lemon zest, chives, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. um, for the salad, edamame, black beans, limes, lemons, a little olive oil, some minced red onion, some minced red pepper, some cumin, salt and pepper. Okay. And then for the avocado, it's an avocado, some sour cream, lemon juice, lime juice, yeah. and salt and pepper as well for that. Mm -hmm. And then for the final sauce, the plebano pepper, we're gonna roast some plebanos. And it gets some shallots, garlic, wine, a little stock, the peppers and butter at the end. The roasting of the pepper, is that going to change the flavor? Will it take away maybe some of the heat of a that? A little bit. And I take the seeds out so it's not too, too hot. Mm -hmm. But if you like the heat, I mean, you can even throw a jalapeno in there and Ooh. kick it up a little. If Why you not? Yeah. Why not? But I like that you're keeping everything pretty simple in terms of seasoning. You know, with the fish, a little citrus, salt and pepper, it can go a long way. Right. All right. Well, we've got everything we need. We're going to get started in just a bit. And another guest has joined us, Kristen Adama. We're going to get to her in just a second. She's from Go Providence, who has brought us Tavolo, a wine bar, and Tuscan Grill. Chef Paul, where do we stand on, on today's recipe? Let's start out searing the salmon. Okay. So a little oil in the pan, yep. salt and pepper. And a nice simple marinade on yes. there too, right? A little lemon. I'm very lucky that the owners will buy the best ingredients, so I don't have to like jazz it up with <laughs> all kinds of different things to try to make it taste good. Yeah, you, beautiful stuff. Good point. If you buy a nice piece of fish, you don't have to do too much to right. it. And we're going to get some delicious food at Providence Restaurant Weeks. Kristen, tell us all about it. Absolutely. So Providence Restaurant Week starts this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's January 15th through the 28th. We have about 70 restaurants that are participating. Wow. You can get a three-course prefix lunch for $14.95 or three course prefix dinner for $29.95 or $34.95. Some people are doing two for one, some are throwing in wine specials. So it's important to go on our website, ProvidenceRestaurantWeeks.com and check out all the menus. Yeah, and see who's participating, what you can get, because I mean, let's say, that's a great deal, Paul. Oh, great. We're doing the whole menu, so. Wow, yeah. 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 and that's check the thing. Yeah. That's why you need to check on right. your website because it can change from it restaurant can. to restaurant. It's, it's really up to the restaurant. Of Some are doing whole menus, some are doing things you can only get once a year at restaurant week. So it's really mm -hmm. important to kind of go on. It's almost like a scorecard. You can go on and make little notes on where you want to go, yeah. and what to do. So it's really fun. And I think it's great for this time of year because so many people just want to stay inside. It's cold out. We got some <laughs> snow over the weekend. How important is it to really just kind of remind people of, of what's in our own backyard? Well, this is a local business. Mm -hmm. Restaurants are local businesses, particularly here in Providence. So when you're out and having dinner, you're supporting local people, your friends and your neighbors. Mm -hmm. So that's great. We want to keep supporting you guys like you, Chef Paul. That salmon is already smelling incredible. I can't wait I to try it. Again, they, um, they've got the whole menu uh, a part of their Providence Restaurant Week. Find out more. You can go to their website, find this recipe. You can go to ours. And we're going to wrap <coughs> things up when we come back. Thanks, Brendan. Tavolo Wine Bar and Tuscan Grill is here. Chef Paul is here. We've got some uh, black bean salad we're making. Pan mm. salmon is also on the menu today. And you've got these great, uh, these great peppers that you're also yes, roasting, sir. too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the salmon in the oven to get that finished while yeah. okay. roasting the peppers. Right, so we'll I'm going to turn this nice fan on here. because we are going to roast that. And there's going to be a little smoke from roasting those those peppers so we don't get smoked out here. So this is what you want it to. Yes. This right here is what Sorry. you want it to look like there. And after you roast it, we put it in and a bowl. So I'll, I'll, I'll put this right so in here now. That one's a finished okay. product. Right, so put that in there now. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take this and just kind of like hold it over. You can just leave it right on there and it'll put it right there. If you have a grill, you can do it on a grill. Right. If, yeah. if not, okay. this works just as well. This is a just great idea. And whenever something has that char flavor, it really adds Absolutely. a lot to it. I think that looks great. All right, he's working on so those peppers. So this will go for a little bit. Yes. And what do I have in front of me? Okay, so you're going to add your black beans. Okay. And this is the salad this that will go underneath portion. the salmon. Uh, underneath. Edamame. Edamame. Yeah. Your onions. I love the edamame. Okay, I do too. Yeah. And, and so good for you. Yeah. You just blanch them till they're a little tender and 
There's your red pepper, mm -hmm. a little olive oil. Olive oil. And some fresh cumin, which is We're over there. Here we go. All of this that yes, you've measured that's out? Yes, all okay. toasted and measured. Oh, you toasted it too. Yes. Mm, it smells and great. And then um, some lemon, lemon juice and lemon lime juice, juice, which is already squeezed. Okay. And salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Season it up there. Well, I can smell that, yeah, that pepper yeah. going. That so smells so starting. good. Yeah, Checking perfect. this. Yeah. Keep that going. It's getting. Probably still okay on that side to let that go for a little while longer. Now this goes great with our, with our wine list. We have 50 wines by the glass. Really? Wow. I mean, it's 50. quite expensive. The Wine Spectator Award last year. Um, I'm very. If they, there's a Golden Globe for restaurants. These guys. Will get <laughs> I mean, they did it right. The, Good the, point. The restaurants That's great. Beautiful. We'll have yeah. to write in and see if we can get sure. that in next <laughs> year. Write it in. And you said this is actually you could do this on if you backyard grill, backyard. roast this up that way too. Absolutely. Speaking so, of backyard, you would think awesome that a with a effect. salad like this, you know, so bright and refreshing, and something like salmon and. It's almost reminding me of the spring or summer time, but you can Which still you enjoy. Need. Yeah, you can <laughs> enjoy flavors like this in the winter. Absolutely, and the peppers will make it, you know, a little bit heavier. Right. Now, that's sure. A finished sauce. I'll make the avocado puree right now while you're doing that. So okay. it's a fresh avocado. I scoop it out. Avocado also is easy so to good. get. It. Yep. Just all Put you need is in. a spoon. A little spoon. Scoop it out. Sour creams. Just that like together. A spoon of that. Some salt and pepper. Lemon juice. Okay. Some similar that. seasonings going on each thing, but it, I'm, I'm assuming that just means again. it all, all ties in. It all comes nice. together. This is probably, probably one of our most more. popular dishes at the restaurant. And this is all. This will be part of part restaurant, of restaurant week? week. Yeah, that's great. There's only one or two items that have a slight upcharge, but other than that, we're doing the whole menu. Just we want everybody to just try how. And where are you guys? That's excellent. Right on Atwell's Ave. Oh, okay. Two eighty nine. All right. Yes, yeah, right in the middle. It's good. Perfect location, like, so and like you said, when you're offering all, like your entire menu. Right. You're going to get so many people coming in. You can try something new. Maybe you've been there right. before, but you haven't tried a certain menu item. If you Restaurant come on the weeks, weekends, we have um, jazz, live jazz on Saturday nights. That's we awesome. have music on Fridays. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so it's a really Paul, nice that looks atmosphere. Really good. That looks That's really perfect good. right there, too. All right, so I'm going to take this. And we we'll toss it in here. And we cover it up, and that'll make this, it, the, skin the skin push away. With the kind of like steam kind of like pulls Beautiful. it up. And then we have our plate here. We'll start plating it up. So let's cover this up. Okay. A little better. That up. Just a couple so spoonfuls. afterwards, it looked like that. I chopped it up and I took off the skin, which right. you just rub off. But don't rinse it because you don't want to lose the juices. You don't right. want the oil. Or even that that flavor of the that flavor charcoal, of the char. that char, char flavor of it. So what I've done is just this. With I started out with some shallots, mm -hmm. wine, a little bit of stock. You can use it the clam juice or chicken stock. Right. I added the peppers, salt and pepper, and then uh, some butter. And then I put it in the blender. And okay. This, and that's what you have. That's the final thing that you've got. Nice and easy. Up. All right. Well, we have our, our bed of our edamame and black bean salad. We're going to get the salmon on top of that and top it with a little sauce. Don't forget, you can find this recipe on roadshow.com.